from speech number nine from the advanced communicator manual. Confident uh -huh. communicator manual. To read his objectives of his speech is evaluator Sarah. Please read the objectives. Certainly. This is project number nine that John is doing this evening, and it is Persuade with Power. The objectives are persuade listeners to adapt your viewpoint or ideas or take some action. Appeal to the audience's interests. Use logic and emotion to support your position. Avoid using notes. The time is five to seven minutes. I'm going to read the intro. Toastmaster John Gentithes has been a member of West Boca Toastmasters since February 2003, and he has taken advantage of numerous opportunities. Toastmaster has to offer. A few weeks ago, John delivered a speech titled, 3, 2, 1, Go, which discussed the formula he used to become a better Toastmaster. Tonight's speech titled, MBA, John will discuss how, how to take your three, two, one, go skills to the next level. Please welcome John Dintithi. Toastmaster Neil, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests. Many of you remember the three, two, one speech I gave a few weeks ago. For those of you that weren't here, what I reiterated is many people said, what do you do to become a good member? What I did is three times a month, I try to take some kind of a role, minor role, any kind of a role. Two times a month, I wanted a major role, and once a month, I tried to speak. And that was my formula. I called it three, two, one, go. I had an interesting question the other day from another Toastmaster from another club. Where do you go from here? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it a minute, and this is an interesting question. Well, I'll tell you where you go. You go get your MBA, just like you were in business, a more advanced degree. What will give you that more advanced degree? Well, first, you have M. M is for mentoring. You think you know something? Good. Try and teach it to somebody else. Because teaching is completely different than just doing it. The way you teach, at least from my perspective, is you take something that the person doesn't know, whatever it is, and you relate it to something they do know. <clears throat> Not what you know, something they know. That's how you teach. I've mentored about six or seven people, Toastmasters. Some of them went on to be good Toastmasters. Some of them, they came a few meetings and left, which, which is typical of the club, unfortunately. But mentoring is a very important thing to take on. It puts, it takes your learning to a new level, a level of expertise that you don't have by just evaluating. Because you're getting feedback on what you're learning from somebody, and you can see how well your feedback is by how well they do. Which brings me to the second point, the B. Each one of you should try to serve at least one year on the board at some point. There's so many choices <clears throat> on the board of directors. There's something for everyone. If you don't want to be a secretary because you don't like taking notes, you can be sergeant in arms. Come in, set up the room, make sure things are done right, escort people in and out during the contest. Or you could be membership. Maybe you're good at getting people. Or, he can't be treasurer because Joel's going to Fiji next year. He's been treasurer long enough. Or you can be a, a 
vice president of education at some point. Maybe you want to pass on your knowledge. But there's all sorts of positions on the board that you can do. Hopefully, some of you will elect to make it all the way up to president or area director or some other avenue. Because the way, what you're doing by doing this is you're taking the things that you learned and you're passing them on to new people. You're, all, you're taking what Toastmasters has done for you and you and you and you're t giving new people the opportunity to have that for themselves. Now what is the A? The A is you need to associate from Toastmasters from a different club. I don't mean to necessarily <coughs> visit a different club, but go to area contests. They have a couple of those a year. Attend a TLI. When you go to an area contest, you see speakers on a different level. Some are good, some are maybe not as good as you think they would be coming from an area contest. But you also meet people, you get new ideas, you see in a different perspective. We can get into a rut in here, seeing the same 20 or 30 people all the time. But when you go to different clubs, they have a different way of doing things. Maybe right, maybe wrong. Maybe you like our way better. We have one of the best clubs I have seen in the whole area. I firmly believe this. This is the only club that I know of where everybody speaks every week. Sometimes. Some clubs are very time challenged. So what they do is to prepare speeches and evaluation first, and whatever time is left over, you do table topics. You may not do a table topic, you may come to the meetings for a month or two and not do a table topic, if your name is not picked for some reason. And I don't think that's right. The format that we have is very good, it's very beneficial. But you also need to associate with members from other clubs see what happens, what they do, how they do it. It's a very good formula. The MBA will take your Toastmaster skills to the next level.